So when did the thought first enter your mind about the possibility of retiring? It was when the championship became real, a real possibility, okay. a few weeks before, when I had a very big lead in the points. Mm -hmm. And what did you, just one day? No, it just came to me. Just came to me. Wow, that would feel right. That would feel awesome to uh, close the book with the most awesome ending. Do you think there's anybody close to you that would have ever guessed you would have retired early? No. <laughs> well, what's early? I mean, I'm 31. You're, right, you're 31. <laughs> I mean, you have you just signed a contract. You have time left on the contract. You just won the championship. You're as good of a driver as you've ever been at the height of your career. That's early. Well, yeah, but then uh, take it from the other side. I've been racing for 21 years. Right. Uh, in Formula One for 11 years. I've done 210 races. Traveled the world. Uh, doing this, uh, this Formula One racing, this, this amazing experience for 11 years. And um, at the same time, you need to, it's also, you know, racing at the highest level requires a lot of sacrifice as well. Um, that's the only way to do it. That's the only way to be the best you can be and to, to be the best in the world is by massive uh, sacrifice as well and putting, throwing everything behind just winning. Um, and uh, and it's, it's awesome, there's a time for that, but now it's time for, uh, some other stuff. What sorts of sacrifices do you think you most have to make? Um, oh, it's, it, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, first of all, the, your whole life revolves around winning. Every single day from morning to evening is just how can I win? Uh, how can I be the best in, in the sport? And, and so for sure, family, that's the obvious one. That's a big sacrifice there because just don't see them much. And, and even when I am there, I'm not really there because my head is, is in the sport. Really? Yeah. Who was the first person you told you were considering retiring, and when did you tell them? My okay. wife, uh, two days before. Um, two, two days before, before announcing. Okay, so not, not before your final race. No, because I didn't want to uh, go into those thoughts okay. at all, because I was so committed to uh, getting the championship. And anyways, it was dependent on winning the championship. Mm -hmm. When you made that final decision to retire, what was the order in which you then started letting people know? Uh, of highest priority was to tell my team mm -hmm. because uh, I knew that I was putting them into a difficult situation and that was tough for me to know that. Um, so I told them as soon as I could, immediately actually. So take me to that call you make to the team's executive director, Toto, um, and what was said minutes after I think you left being on a plane with him. Yeah, not, not an easy one, of course. Um, you Especially, wanted to do it in person on the plane, right? Yeah, but I, I, I had three hours sleep from all the partying yeah. <laughs> in the last two days. I was absolutely knackered. So to approach such an uh, in, incredibly intense, life-changing uh, um, discussion, uh, that, was, that was, no, I wasn't willing to, uh, to, to do that. So I um, decided, okay, I'll do it on the phone. That's, uh, that's better, easier. So I went for that and... Um, uh, yeah, it was, it was a tough one, uh, and especially because he, he didn't see it coming, so, uh, and, it, and it put him in a difficult situation as well, which was not good. Um, but I need to think about myself and, and my people around me first, because okay. I told the reasons. Okay. And so his immediate instinctive reaction was understanding. He really could understand and relate, and, and accepted it, and really accepted it, and, and was very supportive. And I didn't know, was he going to shout at me on the telephone? Right. <laughs> Uh, were, were you kind of concerned? Oh, for yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah, because it's an extreme decision and I'm really putting them into a difficult spot. And, mm -hmm. um, but he really showed great understanding and that was very nice to see. What was your reaction when Formula One legend and team executive Nicky Lauda comes out and kind of slams the decision and yeah. says you made the team look dumb in his words? For sure, he did criticize me uh, uh, in the media, which was strange because to me personally, again, he even said, I'm pulling my hat for you, or how do you say that? You know, I'm saluting you or, mm -hmm. uh, with respect for the decision. So personally, he was really uh, understanding, which was very nice. And then in the media, very different. So that was a bit surprising. Mm -hmm. I think it came out of the shock because he was okay. also just very shocked. And, um, and, and then the he race has team the is his, is his baby. Finding, you know? The race team is right. his baby, and I put his baby into a very difficult situation. So naturally, you're gonna you're gonna have some um, hard emotions coming out, and uh, uh, but. 
you know, that's, uh, that's fine. To what extent, since you made that decision, has any doubt or second guessing come into your head about the decision to retire? Well, it's not easy. Yeah, I'm, my life, I ch completely changed my life for, the, for as long as I can think. Uh, my life has been, you know, racing and trying to win on the racetrack. So it's a complete change. So it's not easy and it's not going to be uh, only easy, obviously. But I'm feeling great. I'm really, really uh, happy, satisfied. Um, and also, I'm just, uh, you know, so um, content with my career. It's perfect. You know, it's really, uh, I've achieved everything that I set out to achieve. Um, it's a great ending where uh, I'll always look back uh, and, I'm, and I'm going away from it with so much happiness, also thanks to that ending, you know, and um, so it's, it's, it's awesome.